Camouflage Concrete! Yeah! Hello and welcome to the Concrete Staining Guide. I'm Earl Wayne and I'll be walking you through the various steps. This guide will pertain to concrete acid stain only. There are other products who claim to be concrete stains, but in fact, acid stain is the only true concrete stain. And that is what this guide will focus on. Things to know. Concrete acid stain is not a concrete paint. It's nothing like a paint. Concrete acid stain works by soaking into the pores of the concrete and reacting chemically with the cement, the limes, and the minerals that are already present in the concrete and that were randomly dispersed whenever the concrete was poured. That's why you cannot tell what color the concrete will end up being by looking at the color in the bottle nor whenever you first apply it to the concrete. Each piece of concrete will color differently and uniquely depending on what is already present in the concrete. If you take one color of acid stain and you pour it on 10 different slabs, then you'll have 10 different versions of that color. That's the beauty of acid stain. It's what is artistic about it and it is what keeps it unique. But it's also why it is very important to always do a test in an out-of-the-way place prior to staining the entire job to be sure not only that you get proper reaction with the concrete, but also that you like the color. You could do these tests in a closet or a corner. If you were doing it outside, then you could do it on a full equipment pad or an air conditioner pad. You can do the tests on the side of the slab. If it's covered with dirt and grass, you could dig it out and wash it and let it dry really well and even do it there. But wherever you do the test, it is very, very important that you do indeed do a test. That way you're sure you're going to like the color because concrete acid stain is permanent. And once you've done it, that's it. It's done. There's no going back and changing the color. You can add additional colors but you will only darken the stain. You will never go lighter. After you've stained it, you've allowed it to dry, and you've washed the residue off, if you want it to be darker, then you can do additional coats, and that will darken the stain. As mentioned before, disregard the color of the acid stain in the bottle, and also when you first apply it to the concrete, as well as during the drying stage. You will not know what the color is actually going to be until the full reaction time has passed and the residue, which really hides the actual color, has been washed off the surface. It is at that time that you will know what the color will be. Again, acid stains not like paint. All standard grade acid stains require two coats. You do one coat, you let it dry, you do the second coat. Sometimes, even with an artist grade stain, even though artist grade stains only require one coat and artist grade stains are one coat applications, you'll want to highlight it, maybe with different colors, or you'll just want an overall deeper, darker color. You'll decide to do multiple coats. Whenever you know that you're going to do more than one coat, there is no need to wash the residue between coats. You just need to make sure that the concrete is completely dried. So you apply the stain, let it completely dry, and then you can go out and apply your second coat, and then you can just wash all the residue afterwards. After it's had its reaction time, and you come back in and you wash the residue off, while it is wet, saturated wet, from the washing of the residue, that is what it will look like if you seal it with a solvent-based sealer, or if you do another coat of stain. As it dries down and it reaches the stage that it is damp, it's not yet dry, but it's no longer saturated, it's damp, that's what it'll look like if you seal it with a water-based sealer. Except for only a couple of different manufacturers, those manufacturers which carry artist-grade stains, it is suggested and recommended that you never acid wash or use an acid etching type product on your concrete. If you acid wash the concrete, if you use an acid etching product on the concrete, 
then standard grade acid stains will not have the capacity to stain it any longer and you'll not be able to stain it with standard grade stains. Artist grade stains will still stain the concrete but even then you won't get as deep and rich a color as you otherwise would have got. So do not acid wash, do not use acid etching type products when cleaning the concrete. You can sometimes get a lighter version of the color by diluting the stain with water. So whenever you do your tests, then you may want to do a test with the stain at full strength, a test with the stain with multiple coats, and also a test where you've diluted the stain with water 50-50 to see what it would look like as a lighter version. Acid stain is very durable. It's a permanent product. It will never fade or peel. Although the concrete can be chipped and scratched, just like a wood floor can, the product itself, the acid stain itself, is permanent. And that concludes the things to know section. Camouflage your concrete! Yeah!